Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for the week ahead. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you for your patience. I couldn't get them all done yesterday. I had to do private readings too and you know I do have a life so I do apologize but here we are. This is for the first week of April. You know you want to hear an interesting fact? My relationship health, which is the seventh house, we all have, you know, there's 12 houses. My, your seventh house is your relationship house. So when, if you were really, I mean, if you wanted to go a little bit deeper, if you were to watch a reading, you would, for, on your relationships, you would watch, you know, where is your seventh house? So your seventh house is, is you know, probably the reading you should watch regarding your relationships. My seventh house <laughs> is in Pisces. So Pisces rules my relationships. So Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, you know, in seventh house. You know, somebody may be in a situation that they're not happy with. We're going to do the, the Celtic Cross just for this weekly. And then we are going to go back to the regular spread for the next ones. Um, hmm interesting now the challenge is the page of pentacles the challenge is starting over the challenge is learning new tricks is remaining focused and acting with integrity so holding on to something the challenge is holding on to something you may not be happy about hmm interesting Oh, now that is the overall, this, this is what's coming in, right? This is what's coming in. Love. <laughs> Unexpectedly, right? This is unexpected love. This is person's not your usual type, but they probably are the one. You know, it's like you guys can, you know each other, right? You know each other. It's easy. It's perfect. You know, this is a card of uh, consequences as well. Consequences in regards to the choice that you have to make. This is a choice and there's consequences for the choice that you make. You may have options. You may have a choice between two paths. Tug of war, going back and forth on it. Mm. And on the bottom of the deck, the King of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. We are just going to um, make sure that this is focused in. So presently, you guys are in a situation that you're probably not sure about with that sun card reversed. You, you, there may not be any growth there. I mean, the sun reversed is no growth, okay? Currently, you may be in a situation that you're not so happy about. There may not be a whole lot of uh, contentment there. I mean, I just got to be honest. And remember, this is my seventh house, so this is a reading for me as well, okay? <laughs> So whatever I say is I have to I have to uh, eat. Anyhow, um, now this is 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 about acting with integrity, doing the right thing. So the challenge may be acting with integrity. This could be an apology. It could be. Uh, Page of Pentacles offers something you know something that you know you can hold on to. Presently, this is manifestation. Somebody has manifested a perfect match. We're going to go back around and get more cards in a minute. But somebody has manifested a perfect match. And here it is. Here it is. Brought to you from Cupid. That's Cupid's arrow. So you guys got a new match here. You got somebody that seems to be perfect, right? But you may have to make a choice. You may, may have to make a choice as to whether, you know... <laughs> You may have to let go of something to get your perfect match, okay? Because this is going back and forth, holding on to something that you shouldn't be holding on to. 
Just saying. Anyhow, this is um, taking action to bring success to your life. So I feel like you guys are really seeing improvements. And I think it's because you have made some changes. You've done some, some work. You've manifested. You've... You're willing. It's like you're willing to do whatever it takes to be happy. Because this is happiness. And I think, but but there's some sort of blockage, okay? This is a blockage. It is. There's a blockage of happiness here. And, and, and this is tug of war. I mean, it is tug of war. So it's like going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. But this is reversed. So you may be reluctant to let go but you got to let go. You got to let go of something that is making you unhappy. I don't know what it is. Now here, you know, three of cups. This is in the past, though. This, there could be three people in the mix here. and you, Three is a crowd. I don't know. This is um, overindulging as well. Yeah. Hmm. We're going to go back around a minute and see what that is something about partying partying you may be you may be partying too much i don't know i don't know here here down here we have somebody you may be dealing with somebody who's not doesn't have a lot of energy doesn't have a lot of get up and go somebody who's kind of lazy and complacent i mean it could be you may be dealing with somebody who doesn't really <laughs> take care of themselves anyhow um, here we have, here we have abundance very self-sufficient I think that this is probably you you can take care of yourself just fine right you're good you got your shit you got your shit together you're doing good you got money in the bank you got nice things new houses new cars whatever you're good you're good right you're good you're fine. You don't need help. You're doing great. But you got this connection here. You do got this connection here. And now you may have to make some compromises to work together. This is about working together. This is about teamwork. Maybe you maybe you're afraid. Maybe you're afraid to give up your independence. That could maybe you you really like your independence, right? You do. You like your independence. Now somebody may be wanting to work with you or you want to work with somebody. It could be a fire sign, could be a Gemini, it could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, it could be Leo, it could be Gemini, it could be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But it looks as though you are you're trying to do the right thing. I think that you are making taking, not making, taking new approaches. I think that you're really, really, really focused. I think that you you may see potential. You may see potential. Notice this king is looking over here at these people. Interesting. Hmm. Somebody is thinking, this guy is thinking, he is, he is thinking, he is thinking about a partnership. He's thinking about a soulmate or he's thinking about a choice that he has to make because this is a choice. Interesting. We're going to go back around in a minute. It looks as though you guys have manifested a soulmate. And this is a soulmate. It is. It is absolutely a soulmate. You have a... a divine connection here with somebody that is unexpected this is like huh beautiful it is a beautiful connection i think that you're reluctant to grab onto it and i don't know why i don't know why well maybe i do but anyhow we're gonna um go back around this is unhappiness this is the, this is the situation right now Somebody is unhappy. They're unhappy about 
not getting what they deserve. That's not being, not getting what they deserve. There's lack of integrity here. Somebody has not acted with integrity. Somebody has not done the right thing. <laughs> I can't, I can't pretend that's exactly what this is. Somebody's not getting what they deserve. They're not getting the balance and the harmony and the happiness that they deserve. And it's maybe because they're afraid to apologize. And they don't want to apologize. Or they don't want to offer anything. They don't want to give anything. Yep, so there's probably no communication. There's no communication. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's go back. Let's keep going. Oh. Ah. Son of a gun. Ah. <laughs> Didn't I just shuffle? I don't know if I did or not, but that damn King of Pentacles on the bottom again. Hmm. Anyhow, um, down here it's like blind faith. You need to have faith. You need to have faith. Somebody may be afraid of commitment. It looks to me like that somebody is, is not wanting to offer a full-on commitment here. It's like they've manifested this love connection, but somebody is afraid of commitment. Maybe they don't want to get married. This is the marriage card. You know, yeah, we can we can play, but I don't want to get married. You know, that could be the cert that could be the case. Here we have somebody in the past that and it could be you, Pisces, that is emotionally unavailable. You know, overindulging in drugs and alcohol or whatever it is, and now there's um emotional loss. Maybe somebody here has withdrawn emotionally, they've gone cold. They're out playing. They're they're doing things they shouldn't be doing, and <laughs> maybe they want to start over. I don't know. Let's get some more cards. This is seeing the light. Seeing the light that this is love. So somebody is starting to see the light that this is love. This is love. They may want a reunion. Maybe somebody has wanted a reunion, and. Somebody shut them down. I mean, that's this is a reunion. This is a shutdown. You know, here we have an opportunity for love. Somebody is coming out of the darkness. They're seeing the light. But this is like making some sort of offer. Here we have this Capricorn taking control of the situation. This is taking control. Taking control. Is it, that's what this is. Relieving some tension. This is breaking free. So in the future, you guys, are, it looks to me as though you guys are going to stop playing this game. So you're going to break free from something. This is breaking free from going back and forth. Breaking free from a partnership that is not compatible. So you may be cutting somebody out because that's like cutting the cord it is it is it is so somebody may be may be cutting out a partnership that's not compatible for somebody a one that is better one that is better suited this is the suitor is perfect for you this one is 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 not compatible there's too much disharmony there's no it's like unrequited love <laughs> Breaking free from a partnership that is not compatible. There's too much tension. There's too much struggle. And it may be bringing you backwards in some way. It may be safe. It may be safe, but there's no passion there. So I feel like you guys are maybe making a decision to break free from something that you're not passionate about I don't know I don't know here here in the future we have somebody doing the right thing extending an offer of love this is this is this is a a welcome message coming in from somebody that is very noble somebody that is very a hard worker 
somebody that this is a this is a uh, Aries Leo Sagittarius very very passionate this is the this is the this is a passionate king this is strong this king is very strong he's very decisive he's very um focused so i think that somebody is going to find their strength to offer love interesting so yeah somebody is going to to what make an offer of love pisces they are and I think that you're going to welcome it. I do think that you're going to welcome it. Somebody, this right here, somebody has been deceived, right? This is deception. This is cheated. Somebody's been lying. Somebody's been lying about who they're working with and how much they're working together and the whole nine yards. Somebody's not telling the truth. Somebody is... Somebody is sneaking around. Somebody is sneaking around watching. They're watching they're, and they, it's like they're, they think they're getting away with it, but they're not. There's lack of respect here. It's like, be careful because somebody may be trying to steal from you. I mean, I have to tell you that. It's like you may be dealing with somebody that doesn't respect you. They could be stealing from you. They see your hard work. They see that you're working hard and they're... they're <laughs> Not good. Not good at all. Oh my goodness. You could be dealing with somebody. You may not even know it. You may not even see it. You could be some be dealing with somebody who you think, you know, they're a good person and they're not. I don't know who that that doesn't have to be this lover. Because I think this love I think it's a different person. Could be somebody you work with. Anyhow, this is an offer of love coming in. Could be from a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like this um, will be a bit a very um, welcome offer coming in. Whoever this person is, they're very passionate and they're very, very interested. They've been watching too. They're very interested. They. They're gonna be they're gonna take the lead, they are. This person is behind the scenes right now. This person is behind the scenes. They're not you you don't see this person yet. Oh my god. Who is this person? This this is this you don't this is behind the scenes. You don't see this person yet. This person is in the process of probably of breaking free from from something else. There's that breaking free. And I wonder, I don't know, this is something behind the scenes. Maybe you do know this person. I don't know who this person is, but this is this is dropping something, dropping a load. This is dropping something that is heavy. This person right here is waiting for the right time to show themselves. Somebody is waiting. This person is very, very wise. Very wise. He is waiting to make his move. We have somebody here that is in the background waiting to make their move. Oh my God! And they are—they have—they—they—they—they're they, 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 very attractive. They're very, very attractive to you, Pisces. So we got somebody here that is very attractive, or attracted both attractive and attracted to you. They are behind the scenes. They are behind the scenes. And I feel as though they probably want to start something with you. They probably do. They probably do. They want you to 
drop that shit, whatever it is that you're holding on to, and give them a chance. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. So Pisces, I really feel like you have a choice here. You do have a choice. I think that you, and I saw that way up here, way back. There's a choice here. There's a choice. Some of you are holding on to something that you shouldn't be holding on to. It's causing angst, okay? It's just not good. It's not um, fulfilling you. It's not making you happy. There's no growth there. You could be dealing with somebody who's really lazy and complacent or whatever, and you have this new opportunity for love. We do. We have an offer of love here, and you may feel like you're reluctant to move on. You're reluctant to allow it into your life because maybe you're so good on your own. Maybe you're afraid of commitment. Maybe you're afraid of marriage. Maybe, you know, maybe you don't feel like you're good enough. Maybe, you know, who knows what the case is. But we definitely have an opportunity for love and passion here we do so i feel as though there's going to be an offer coming in but it is behind the scenes um you may know this person you may you may know this person in the past there's been a lot of discontent and 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 withdrawal and i feel like somebody's been trying to bury their emotions with drugs and alcohol and now it's like this is removing the toxic, removing, you know, the toxicity, whatever, whether it's the partner or the drugs and the alcohol or whatever. It's breaking free from that and starting over. Okay, so we have a new, passionate, exciting beginning here with somebody that you probably don't even expect. You really don't. Um, I feel like whoever this person is, they that you aren't going to have to really put in a lot of effort. It's going to be easy. It's going to be an easy connection. It's just going to be like you're not going to have to put in a lot of effort. It's going to be because when it's meant to be, you don't have to put in a lot of effort. It just flows. So I think that you are about to, you know, perhaps take a new approach and drop that drop whatever it is that's weighing you down and accept some sort of new opportunity you may decide to do it suddenly this could be a sudden decision to just accept whatever it is um now this is the first week of april isn't it this is very passionate there's definitely somebody flying into your life absolute oh now the king of pentacles upright what the hell? I must have shuffled. Huh. I don't know. Anyhow, we have somebody coming in quick. Coming in quick with all this lust, all this passion, this offer of love. And you may just be like, whew, I don't know what to do. I think this is definitely feels like it is too good to be true. I feel like we have somebody flying in lickety split. Could be anybody it could be whoever this person is they are stable they have money they are a hard worker it's like they have it they do i mean they got money they're stable they're solid they're secure they're they're strong okay they're strong they're wise they're capable of taking care of you whoever this person is you know there's very you know, there's masculine and, and feminine energy here. So whoever this person is, they are, they know what they want, they want, and they're going to get it. And it's, I think it's a sudden thing. It's like, it's a sudden decision that, you know, they were behind the scenes. They were, they were, maybe they weren't putting in effort for a little while. Who knows? But I feel like their burdens are about to be dropped and they're in this, like they're getting in their, on their horse or in their car or whatever. And they're like okay this is it this is the one I want and this is the one I'm going to get so I feel like that's what we have here I feel like we have somebody that is coming in with an offer that you probably can't deny but there's 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 there is a caveat here we have a we have a partnership that is not compatible that is being released or it's about to be released or it needs to go okay whether it's I don't know what it is I mean this is like 
breaking free from a partnership that isn't meant to be so that they can head in your direction. So that's what I got. Whether it's you breaking free or them breaking free, somebody's breaking free. That's what it is. And they are taking action like, it's like <sighs> overnight, overnight. It's like a sudden decision. Interesting. So Pisces, I really feel, be, get prepared, get prepared because somebody's, somebody's coming in with a passionate offer. It is very passionate and it's like, it's like, it's like, it's like, oh my God, that kind of energy. It is, oh my God. It's like, where did you come from? And it is literally, where did you come from? You know, you didn't see it coming because you didn't see it coming. You didn't see because it was hidden. It was hidden because this person may not have put in effort. I don't know. It's like this, all of a sudden there's just a, like this shift. There was a lack of communication or there was no communication or you didn't see it coming because they were hiding you know, they may have been hiding. I don't know what's going on here, but it's like somebody comes out of hiding and they come rushing in and, you know, it's like all of a sudden they see the light. Guilt. Guilt. No way. Guilt. I release any beliefs that no longer assist in my soul's growth. That is a message, Pisces. Don't, don't hold on to it. There's no need. It's time to move forward and go after what you deserve. You have an offer coming in that you probably didn't even see coming, but it is too good to pass up. It really is. Don't let your fears of losing your independence get in the way. Because this is a person that, you know, it's a soulmate connection. It is a soulmate connection. It is a soulmate connection. It is. It's meant to be. So anyway, that's what I got, Pisces. You guys have manifested an arrival. And you're being called to have blind faith. Just go for it. Go for it. Good luck.